Hello, welcome to the class of Wireshark. Today we are going to analyze the Wireshark dissections. So, first of all, what is the packet dissections or the protocol dissection? So, packet dissection is one of the most important or the powerful feature of Wireshark. So, here it, process, it processes to convert the stream of bytes in understandable requests, replies, refusal, retransmission, reset, etc. So, basically, it converts the stream of bytes into a understandable format next it so we are going to analyze this dissection from here we will analyze these in packet detail pane so first of all there is a frame dissection which name as frame one so we are going to analyze this frame one if we want to analyze the frame three we will select the frame three and it will give the detailed information about the frame three and so on so as we are going to discuss about this frame three so first dissection is frame dissection so here frame dissection so as i click over it or expand it it gives the basic information or it displays the basic information regarding the trace file as like it gave, giving the information about the time shift and time delta the frame number the length of the frame the capture length and protocol in the frame so it's giving me the basic information regarding this frame 3 or this is known as the frame dissection next to it when after analyzing this then it hands this dissection hands over the frame to the next dissection that is ethernet dissection so as ethernet dissection come into play it will next again analyze the packet and it decodes and display the field of ethernet to header and based upon the content of type field it will pass the packet to the next dissection it means first of all it will decodes the ethernet header that it means it display the mac address of source and destination and then to it it analyze the type field and by analyzing the type field it will get to know that the next dissection what is the what will be the next dissection so here from the type field it show the next dissection will be ipv4 so it means it will pass the uh, packet to the next dissection of ip ipv4 that is internet protocol version 4 from here it decides the next dissection so next to it next dissection is internet protocol version 4 so as i expand it so from here it also do some decoding or display some basic information so here the ipv4 decodes the field of ipv4 header and it gives the ip address of source and destination after that it passes the packet to the next dissection after analyzing the content of the protocol field or from here it decide the next dissection to pass the packet to the next dissection so from here it analyzed that the protocol field is and it's indicating to the udp that is user datagram protocol so from here it decide the next dissection and it pass the packet to the user datagram protocol for the further analyzing or further conversion so from here it gives the information about the source port, destination port, each length, checksum, checksum status, and so on. So here, from there, it UDP dissection decode the field of the UDP header, and based upon the content of port field, it hands the packet to the next dissection. So from here, it analyzes the destination port here. So for analyzing destination port, that is 53, it means it is indicating to the domain name system query protocol so here from here we get the information about the protocol to which particular protocol it is indicating or to which a particular dissection so from here we get to know that it is indicating to the domain name system dns protocol so next week expand this domain name system and analyze this so here in uh, this it decodes the field of the 
DNS packet and as there is no embedded protocol or application inside this DNS packet like here it's giving the flag information questions answer response and so on so it means here is no another indication about the another protocol or the application it means it is the last section which is used to decode this packet and so on if we are so this is about how to analyze this dissection and if we are going to analyze the packet like like we are going to analyze the tcp packet so from here we can note it as we open this ethernet pod it will indicate the ipv4 it means next dissection will be ipv4 and from ipv4 it will get the information the next protocol will be TCP and after getting the TCP information then it analyze the TCP that is last day section. So this is about how to analyze the Wireshark day section. Thank you.